Drones these days are not limited to deliveries and future transport, but are also being used for special drone sports like soccer and racing. All different kinds can be seen at the Korea Drone and UAM Expo 2023. Our business correspondent Shin Ayong went to see for herself and files this report. A drone that can fly and float on water can be used to transport cargo, water sports, and even help ships that have caught fire. A search and rescue drone that has a flashing light and provides a life belt and an emergency kit. Both can be seen at the Korea Drone and UAM Expo 2023, which kicked off on Wednesday in the city of Incheon in South Korea with its largest exhibition to date, offering visitors a glimpse of both the present and future of drones. Under a theme of new daily life with drones and urban air mobility, the four-day event showcases not only the cutting-edge technologies of drone industry in South Korea, but also the country's status as a leading nation in drone leisure sports. Around 200 players from home and abroad are participating in the World Drone Soccer Championship. Also, there are opportunities for younger generations to participate in the youth competition. On the other side of the exhibition, racers from 15 countries are competing in the 2023 Korea Drone Racing World Cup. The race takes place around an advanced racing course equipped with automatic detection devices and IoT technology developed in South Korea. According to the Transport Ministry, the global drone market is projected to surpass 125.5 trillion Korean won or nearly 94 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. In particular, sectors like transportation and logistics are expected to grow the most. Under the Bright Outlook, the government is working with local authorities to introduce drone delivery services to areas with poor delivery accessibility. To commercialize drone delivery starting September, we will work together with local authorities to test drones in cities with a consideration of each city's geological features. We are planning to install flight paths in areas that have poor delivery accessibility, as well as drone stations in front of people's houses. Meanwhile, during the event's opening ceremony, South Korea's Vice Minister of Land Infrastructure and Transport emphasized the importance of safety. The government will support the technological development and demonstration of drone companies while also building a drone traffic management system by 2028 to ensure safety. He added that it will improve regulations in line with the level of technological development to swiftly eliminate any barriers caused by unnecessary costs. Shin Ayong, Arirang News.